Good morning. Hope you are doing okay. I thought it was about time I checked in again. So what I'm thinking about today, what's on my mind, is I'm just thinking about where is my focus? And that's the question I want you to ask yourself as I talk about this. <clears throat> so what do I mean by that? So let me give you an example. And this is, you know, the, the most recent example that I'm, I'm plucking out of, uh, out of my mind. There's numerous other similar examples and you'll be able to frame it in your own context for reference. So for those of you that don't know my background, so I'm a A&E doctor. <clears throat> And obviously, as you'll be aware, it's been a challenging time, both in and out of the hospital, for various reasons. And uh, we've now got the simultaneous problems of a lot of demands on the health service, as well as issues with actually keeping the services staffed, for various reasons, uh, COVID being one of them, but not the only reason. And so it's been quite tricky keeping everything afloat and it just made me think a little bit about focus and where my focus keeps shifting to so I kind of broadly divide it into where are my thoughts mainly what proportion of my thoughts are in the present what proportion are in the past and what proportion are in the future so the problem with uh, a lot of your focus being on the past is that Potentially what you might be doing there is uh, ruminating about things that have gone. That's not always the case. I mean, you might be tapping into old experiences and old memories. And that's a positive way to shift your focus to the past. And that's usually a short-lived thing. So you kind of cast your mind back, extract whatever you need from there, and then you come back to the present again. Similarly, uh, with the future... If you're spending a lot of time thinking about the future, actually, are you worrying about what's going to happen in the future, despite the fact that obviously you'll have no way of predicting what's going to happen? Or are you future planning? So again, future planning is a positive thing, but again, it should be a fairly short-lived visit to the future and then back to the past. So actually, the uh, majority of your focus should be in the present, and that's how you stay mindful and in the moment I suppose apologies if that sounds a little bit woo so I've been uh, struggling a little bit with this uh, since the things have flared up again with uh, worries about various things but I've, what I found myself is that my, my focus has been shifting a lot to the future you know what if this happens what if that happens what am I going to do if and a lot of these are very you know realistic but um, uh, theoretical scenarios <clears throat> that may never come to fruition and the problem with it is uh, so in one respect you could argue that it's good to be prepared for some of these scenarios but the problem with it is that you're almost doing like a kind of future ruminating if there is such a thing where you're starting to get worried and uptight about the prospect of you know what am I going to do if we don't have enough staff for our department or what am I going to do if X happens or Y happens and it's quite a, an anxiety inducing thing and I think you know it all starts with self-awareness and we've talked a little bit about self-awareness before on here just having that self-awareness to recognize where your focus is so actually if you find that you're thinking about things in the future the next question to ask is is this going to be to my benefit? You know, am I thinking about my big picture vision for the future, for me and for my family and for my career, etc.? Um, in which case, that's fine. So you're kind of building towards that. <clears throat> or are you worrying about theoretical scenarios that may never happen? I mean, they may happen. But actually, in what way is that benefiting you? The other way to think about it with the future stuff is... Which parts of this can I control is another way of reclaiming some of the focus over it. So, yes, there's a range of theoretical scenarios that might, might may or may not play out, but actually, what can I control about it? And sometimes that can, uh, that can give you the focus back. 
and I think in terms of staying grounded in the present uh, it goes back to some of those uh, mindfulness practices as well whatever works for you go for a walk um, you know just get some quiet alone time do some exercise uh, do some meditation uh, do some breath work what, whatever works there is literally no one right way to do it it's whatever works for you so what I want you to do is just have a little think about where you're spending the majority of your time mentally and uh, if most of it is not in the present how are you going to stop ruminating over the past how are you going to stop worrying about the future and how are you going to regain some control let me know what you think <laughs>